Hello and welcome back. So we did add one record to the database, but we had a few problems. Now there are a few things I want you to take note here. So the first thing is I'm hashing the password right here. Okay, so I'm doing a password hash here. Not a big deal, but there will be times when you want to do things a little bit more complex before you insert them into the uh, the database. So password hashing is one of those things which you might want to do. You may want to also change uh, maybe the text here, add something to the text, or in our case, we want to be able to add a user ID and a, um, a school ID as well while we are doing this. Now, I don't want to add that code here because I don't want it to mess up my controller. I want my controller as clean as possible. Okay, so even this hashing should not be here. So let's remove this hashing right now. I'll remove it from here. We'll do it elsewhere. Okay. So what I want to do is I want this to be intelligent enough to understand what um, to understand what to do here, uh, once I give it this information, it should also know to hash the password and to add a user ID and a school ID all on its own. So let's see how we can do that. Now I'm going to go to the user um, user model here. Mm -hmm. Now in each model, there's going to be a different action that I want to happen before I insert the data into the database. So in the user's uh, model, for example, it's the hashing of a password, but we don't need that kind of thing if let's say we're adding a new uh, class or we're, uh, a classroom or a new test, we don't want that kind of thing. So here, what I would do is I'll add a, uh, a property here. I'll protect it. So let's just say protected and let's do, let's call it before insert like this okay is equal to and then this will be an empty array like that okay so what this will do is if we want to run a specific function before we insert the data all we have to do is add the information here so for example i want to uh, to run a function which i'll call make uh, id and make make uh, school ID here make a user uh, ID like this so these will be functions that I will run before I insert my data also <clears throat> I can run one called hash password like this okay so just to make them uh, a little bit more readable I would do this okay so in the user model, we have this protected before insert. So as soon as I add before insert, it should know to do this before inserting anything. So copy this and now I want to add the check. Now the functions, these functions right here will be down here, right in this, uh, in this same model. I'll add them and I'll put them there. But the insert function is not in this model. And the reason we're putting these here is because they are different for each specific model, but the function that looks for them should not be different for each model. So we will add that in the main model file. So here is the insert uh, thingy, right? So what I will do is just do a simple check like we had done previously, where we check if the property exists. So this is exactly what we want. So copy that property exist and let's add it here. So I'm going to check if the property code before insert exists. Okay, so if that property exists, let me copy this and let me put it right here. It means it's an array, right? So we're just going to do a for each loop through it. So I will say for each, like so. Okay, so for each before insert as func, so I'm just going to call 
these functions a func like that it's funky so this as you can see is happening before i insert anything and i want to work on the data itself so i want to work on the data and return the same data okay so what i would do here is whatever the func is at the time we're going to run it and i'm going to say data is equal to and then say uh, this like so and func like that now keep in mind that usually when we are reading something from this we don't put this dollar sign here if you notice right just like here we are not putting the dollar sign now the reason we're doing this is because this func is not the function we're looking for it's the variable this is just a variable we're looking for the value of this variable and that's what we are running that value of this variable is a string it's one of these right make user id so that's one of those that we are going to be running here so it's as good as doing this but this text is inside a variable that's why we're adding the dollar sign and still putting that now here we must add the data like that and once we add the data this function should return the data otherwise we lose that data there so it must be returned so that we can still use it down here okay goody so this is going to go through all the functions and run them and then we're going to insert into the database whatever the result of those are and then we could add one more uh, in here to tell us what the allowed columns are, right? So let's give it another check here and do this. So we're going to say protected and say allowed. Maybe we can just do that. Allowed columns, right? So the allowed columns, what are the allowed columns? So the columns that we want this first name and then this uh, last name and then finally we have email let's duplicate this password uh, what's the other one password rank and then what's the other one gender uh -huh. These are the uh, columns that we are allowed to um, that we are allowed to edit, right? So, yeah, this one I had added one more here. So these are first name, last name, email. Um, what else can we edit here? The gender. These IDs will not be editable. The password, maybe we can edit that, and the rank. So back here, let's see password ranks one two three four five six so let's see here if we are correct one two three four five six okay so we are home and dry so these are the allowed columns so we're going to repeat ourselves copy this and come back to the model and write here if property exists again so right about here now we're going to check first to eliminate what we don't want. Then here we don't care, the user may add extra columns and that will be fine. Okay, so here we check first. So that's you know, instead of before insert, we do allowed columns. So if property exists, allowed columns, and now it's an array. So we just have to check, we go through the data and check if it's not there, then we undo it we, we uh, let's see here for each this allowed columns as column let's do that column like that so that's the column and we have to check if uh, actually let me do this let me duplicate this we're supposed to go through the data here as column as key actually like so 
So I want to check if a particular key exists in the allowed columns. If it doesn't, we remove it. So here we're going to say, um, cut this. Let me remove this now. So here I will have a question and say if in array. Okay, so the needle is what we are looking for. So we are looking for the key. What is the haystack? The haystack is this, okay, allowed columns. If it is not in that array, that's when we should care. So if it's not, then we'll say unset. We'll set unset that data key, right, like that. Okay, so if it doesn't exist, we unset it. Oh, sorry here, I should do it this way. Unset. All right then. So yeah, once we are done with that, we unset, we remove all the ones that we don't like, and then we continue here. So here I'm going to add a thing and say remove unwanted uh, columns. And then here, uh, run functions before insert okay so remove unwanted columns run these functions before insert blah 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 that's good so this is working well uh hopefully and then we run these functions and then we are back here so um we may want to clean up the data uh thingy here because once we unset it will have gaps within it so we might do something like this. Um, let's see here. If we removed anything, then we must, in fact, I can just do this. Uh, actually, since this is a, an associative array, I think we can leave those like that. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's an associative array, so it's not numbered, so it doesn't really matter. So here we are good to go. So now the only thing remaining is to create the functions that I want to run here. So since insert before, come here. So now I need to make these functions here. So for now, we're just going to have make some dummies just to be sure that we are not getting any errors anywhere. So I'm going to come down here and just make some dummies. So I'm just going to say function like so. Now this one is Let's put them as public for now. And let's do this. I'm going to do that. Okay. Function. Let me move this along three times like this and then change this. Make school ID. And then hash password. Right there. Okay. So close that. Now, all these must return the data. Return data. <clears throat> Same thing here, return data. Every time, every time. Okay. The reason we're returning this data is because we must capture it here. Otherwise, if we don't return anything, this will become a null value, and then we'll have problems inserting it here. So for now, I just want to hash a password and see that it's going to be hashable or hashed. And because that's the easiest to do, we can deal with these later. But let's just hash a password here. So here I must capture the data. So I'll say data like that. So data will be given. And then down here, the data will be sent back. So here I'm just going to say data uh, password like that. Mm -hmm. So data password is equal to password hash. And then the string is the data password itself. Copy and add it here. And leave that as it is. And then return data. So remember that in the um, sign up controller here, I have not hashed my password here, okay? So if we find the password is hashed in the uh, in the table, then we are successful. 
So here for now, I just want to go to operations and truncate the table so that we don't have any data here. We have a new record when we do get one. So it's empty now, good. So let's do add user and let's see what has happened. Browse. Okay, so you see the password has not been hashed. So we're having a problem there and we need to check on it. Okay, but at least uh, we didn't get any errors anywhere and that looks to be good. But we can test that again by, let me mute this and let's come back here and see what error we will get this time. Then add user again. Okay, so we didn't get any error, but we added a second row here. So which means things are working well, it's just a slight problem we're having somewhere here. And we're going to check that in the next video.